Good evening. We begin tonight with a topic lawmakers promised to address months ago property tax relief in a region of soaring property values. The Idaho legislature is once again debating what kind of relief to move forward. One possibility, Senate Bill 1108. This morning, some city and county leaders from around the Treasure Valley got together to weigh in during a joint news conference. Our Shira Matsuzawa listened in on that, and Shira, obviously this bill is not sitting well with those local officials. Why? Well, Mark, in a nutshell, that bill would change the formula for growth of property tax budgets and provide relief for property owners from increasing property taxes. But leaders from some of Idaho's fastest growing cities say it would do more harm than good. If you look at uh, uh, tax district three on this first one on 9953 Hercules, um, their property value increased $46,000 in this last uh, year for between 2019 20 to 2021. That's a significant increase in value. On Thursday, city leaders. Because every city is a little bit unique and different. From some of Idaho's fastest growing cities. It's not apples to apples, and it's like they're trying to put everything together as an apples to apples uh, deal. Voice their concerns and opinions against a new proposed property tax bill. We need a solution that benefits all of our constituents, and SB 1108 is not that. Senate Bill 1108 would shift a significant portion of what new construction pays in property tax back to already established homeowners to offer some relief in what they pay in property tax. Your growth in value isn't going to cause your taxes to go up faster than 3%. Our Brian Holmes spoke with Senator Jim Rice, a sponsor of the bill, Tuesday on the 208. The thing is, is no city has a reduction in their budget. No fire district has a reduction in their budget. No county has a reduction. Nobody's budget actually gets cut. But some mayors and county commissioners in Ada, Canyon, and Owyhee County say this bill isn't all it's cracked up to be. Senate Bill 1108 is not the solution that some think it is. Those elected local leaders say the bill would affect funding for services like police and fire as well as maintenance and repairs on roads, bridges, and other infrastructure. Our citizens have asked that new growth fund the growth. This bill does not allow that to happen. It only allows 75% of the growth to be captured. For the city of Napa alone, if this bill had been enacted over the last five years, we would have 20 fewer police officers in our rapidly growing cities. They say it could also potentially force them to limit new construction. If this bill goes forward, we will have to greatly consider uh, whether or not we allow uh, new development in our city and what kind of new development if we can't sit, if we can't pay for the for the cost of that new construction. And during today's call, some mayors said they believe some of the lawmakers have a lack of understanding or misunderstanding about how budgets are put together, and that's why they're voicing their opposition. They also said they have had meetings with some of those lawmakers, but to no avail, and that's why they're now calling for an independent working group and for the legislature to listen. Senate Bill 1108 is still in committee, but for a deeper dive into this bill and uh, to hear more from Senator Rice there, our Brian Holmes and the 208 have that story online right now at KTVB.com. Mark. Yeah, and, and you can be sure those lawmakers have heard the opposition very, very loudly. Okay. All right, Chira, thanks.